hello and welcome again so now we will be moving forward to the discussion of this immune system we have discussed about the overview of the immune system in uh, overview lecture which was not belonging to the Kaplan or say uh, USMLE step 1 2021 microbiology of step 1 we have just overview in the previous lecture just one or two lecture we have given the one uh, big one so where we have overview the from the beginning of the infection from the entry into in, in inside our body then how the first line defense then second line defense and third line defense come accent comes play into role and then they clear the infection and again bring you back to the normal if you are if you if your immune system is not able to handle it then there will be need of hospitalization and treatment and then again that will aid your immune system to clear all the infection and your body will comes down to resolve to a normal healthy state now moving forward uh, to the immune system we are going to uh, study this immune system the concept of immune system from the this is the kaplan book of the usmle so from there we will start our lectures okay so beginning from here the immune cells the learning objective from this lecture is that they describe define and describe the component of the immune system and discriminate between innate and acquired immunity so there are the two objective which we have to fulfill by going through these lectures okay now coming to the immune system what is the immune system immune system can be actually defined as immune system is designed to recognize and response to the non-self antigen in a coordinated manner so if the anything that enter inside your body that is foreign then for that foreign substance the body will act in a coordinated fashion in a coordinated ma manner to the non-self agent to a non-self foreign material and helps to clear out from the body additionally cells have cells that are diseased, damaged, distressed or dying are recognized and eliminated, eliminated by the immune system. So not only the foreign substances, they are also responsible for clearing out some of the infection like uh, disease, damage, distress or dying are recognized and then eliminated by the immune system. So they are recognized and then eliminated. These all are diseased or maybe damaged or distressed or dying cell. So this type of cell which are not useful for our own body that are also will be eliminated by this immune system. So there are the two functions the foreign substance as well as the dead and dying cells in your own system in your own body. The immune system is divided into two complementary arm the innate arm and the adaptive arm. So there is innate immunity there is a one type immunity which is called inborn immunity and there is adaptive arm that comes into play in the role when the innate immunity will not able to handle the infection then they will go to the acquired immunity and that is B and T cell. They activate the T cell which again activate the B cell and convert into the plasma cell and then form the antibody and that antibody will actually help aid the clearing of the infection by activating the the phagocytic cell which are the part of the immune innate immunity and clear the infection so let's let's move forward so we are we have to now study about the innate and adaptive immunity what is innate immunity actually the innate immunity provides the body first line of defense against the infections as it in involves the several defense barrier so you mean innate immunity is the first line defense of your body actually they are anatomical and physical barriers so the, suppose the skin mucous membrane and normal flora this skin the skin keeps you prevent from uh, entry of any organism inside your body so that is the physical barrier that prevents the in any microbes to enter inside your body or enter inside your cell say if they this in microbes the microbial organism will not able to enter inside your body then this is acting as a defense and this is the first line defense actually so there will be anatomically like a skin or mucous membrane so this can be anatomical uh, maybe a physical that is a skin mucous membrane can also be there a normal flora is obviously are there there are physiological as well like temperature this temperature what happens to the temperature if there is a high temperature certain organism cannot survive like when you have infection we set the fever set point of the hypothalamus to the upper level so what happened that due to the raised body temperature some bacteria do not multiply ph the stomach ph is highly acidic they kill maximum organism that we eat through the food so it it is one of the defense mechanism for preventing the pathogenic organism to enter inside your intestine into the alkaline environment before that they kill maximum of the organism 
okay so antimicrobials and cytokines so these are the physiological that is the complement pathway that is the alternate complement pathway if you go through that we will go through the complement pathway where there is a classical alternate alternate uh, uh, complement pathway in alternate complement pathway there is no requirement of antigen and antibody so there is no role of requirement of adaptive immunity to activate that complement pathway so alternative pathway can be activated from the microbial surfaces and in this way they can actually helps to kill the organism the main product of the complement pathway is membrane attack complex that is mac that is c5v 6789 and these are known as the membrane attack complex they drill into the bacterial surfaces and make porous and kill the bacteria there are other byproducts like c3b which helps in opsonization and clearing of the immune complexes we'll talk about this so what are the part of the unit immunity the physical barrier anatomical and physical barrier physiological tech temperature ph and uh, antimicrobials and cytokines complement cell cell like neutrophil and macrophage they are the cellular phagocytics and granulocyte and inflammation so these all are the part of the immune immunity that is present over there they do not act they do not amplify or they do not uh, changes with the viruses or bacteria or other any kind of attack any kind of microbial invader so they always will be same that you have to understand Adaptive immunity is changes according to the pathogenic organism, but the innate one is the inborn one and that will be remain same each and every time till you die. So that is important. So innate defense have the following characteristic common. They are present intrinsically with or without previous stimulation. So there is no necessary of any, there is no, it is not dependent on the previous stimulation although adaptive will depend on the previous stimulation the uh, the response will be higher in the if there is a previous uh, stimulation but here there will nothing is change you attack one time thousand time one lakh time the skin will be the same it will prevent the same way it prevent in the first time so this is the intrinsically present without without previous stimulation had limited specificity so it doesn't uh, become specific to a particular organism the skin is uh, anatomical barrier that physical barrier for all things it is a barrier for the animal uh, viruses for the fungi for um, parasite for bacteria everything so it's actually the same it has less specificity for shear microbes and cellular structure that is called pathogen associated molecular pattern so they actually recognize only these pamps they do not uh, recognize this is bacteria or virus or fungi they recognize this pamps that is the pathogen associated molecular pattern and this damps that is the damage associated molecular pattern so this two thing is important for that recognize this by the immune system and then they acts on it and activate the complement or say activate the this uh, cellular uh, granulocyte or um, monocyte or say macrophages and then kill the organism had limited diversity as reflected as the limited number of pattern recognized receptor since it has the it can recognize only the pamps and dams that is the pathogen associated molecular pattern and damage associated molecular pattern it will not able to protect against the diversity large number of fungi or bacteria or viruses or microbes so it has a limited diversity it cannot protect against everything because it is fixed so because of that they have limited diversity that you have to understand so it is present in the intrinsically they have limited specificity limited diversity as well and because they have limited number of pattern recognition only pamps and dams so only they recognize pamps and dams if there is no pamps that pathogen and molecular pattern of dna dams then they will not able to recognize they can easily enter inside cell they can easily bypass your uh, innate immune system and if then if adaptive immunity doesn't play a role then you will suffer from the disease or you need hospitalization and are not enhanced in activity upon subsequent exposure so there is no memory in case of the this innate immunity move forward to the adaptive immunity ability the component of the adaptive immunity is composed of the b and t cell we know that this b and lymph t cells okay the adaptive immunity have the following characteristics in common they are t and b cell especially for the particular antigen so for one antigen even a virus or a bacteria is a one complete organism that has a very different thousands of antigenic epitopes antigenic determinant you can say so if they have a thousand of epitopes the single antigen single part of the virus can induce the similar single 
the cycle of the adaptive immunity the antibody will pressure if there is a single so small part suppose capsule small part of the bacteria will activate what this immune system the T lymphocyte will be activated they will complete activate the B lymphocyte plasma will, will be activated form and then antibody is released so there are the diff there are the many part of that bacteria which will activate this immune system and for each and every specific part there will be each and every specific antibody that you have to understand okay as a population lymphocyte have extensive diversity they can act against a l any bacterial virus present in the world that you have to understand are enhanced with each repeated exposure so there are can be enhanced they can actually enhance with the repeated exposure so previously i have told you if there is a previous infection they will keep the record of that and it's next time they will act rapidly and clear that infection are capable of distinguishing self from non-self this is also important they are ability they have the ability to distinguish between self from non-self so they will know formation of auto antibodies and they will only clear the pathogenic organism they are self-limiting so once they are activated they will resolve by their own or we have the mechanism to seize that inflammation and the body will come back to the normal state so the feature of adaptive immunity are designed to give individuals the best possible defense diseases. Specificity is required with immunological memory to protect against the persistent or recurrent challenges. So adaptive immunity is specific and have immunological memory if it is protein in nature and that can um, fight against the persistent, persistent and recurrent challenges. Diversity is required to protect against the maximum number of pathogens. So every, each and every pathogen present in the world, it is uh, even exposed to you or not, there is a specific and T this a specific T cell will be activated and they will activate the B cell and antibody will form. So you have to understand it has the wide range of diversity for everything. A specialization of effector function is necessary so that the most effective defense can be mounted against the diverse challenge. Ability to be differentiate between the self that is host cell and non-self that is pathogens is vital in, in inhibiting an autoimmune response. So this is a very important uh, feature to prevent disease, autoimmune disease to yourself okay to ourselves as well and self limitation allow the system to return to the basal resting state so that is important basal resting state after as after a challenge of conserve energy and resource to allow the uncontrolled self proliferation result in leukemia and lymphoma so if there is no self limitation so the reaction will be continue and continue and continue and then they will not come back to the basal level and patient will develop this leukemia or lymphoma so it is necessary to seize the stop the infection to clear the infection and bring back to normal after the infection is over okay now let's what is the difference between innate and adaptive immunity innate immunity is very specific this is not non-specific this is related to PAMS this has respect to this specific and design of the microbial or non-microbial agent diversity is limited high memory is no memory in immunity immunity adaptive immunity has memory self reactivity is there is no self reactivity there is no self reactivity in both case uh, component anatomical physical barriers are skin mucosa normal flora temperature pH antimicrobial and cytokine whereas here is the lymph nodes that is lymph node spleen mucosa associated lymph lymphoid tissue and they contain this T and B cells blood protein for innate immunity there is complement but for uh, adaptive there is antibody cells are phagocyte granulocyte and natural killer cell so this is actually important you have to understand this phagocyte granulocyte and natural killer cell are the part of the innate immunity whereas the adaptive immunity is only t cell and b cell so that is we have done with that also now talking about the function so function function of the innate and adaptive arm of the immune response works in collaboration to stop the infection one pathogen has broke through the anatomical or physiological barrier the innate, innate, the innate immune response immediately activate often it is able to contain and eliminate the infection so once there is a inf breach so the innate immunity the cell component the second line of defense first line is physical barrier second line is the cellular part so cellular come to play in the role and immediately activate it and eliminate the infection when the innate immune, immune, immune response is unable to control the replication of the pathogen then only the adaptive response is engaged and activated by the immune response itself in an antigen specific manner so if an innate immunity is not able to deal with the infection then they itself will activate the adaptive immunity typically it takes one to two weeks after primary infection of the adaptive immune response to be 
to begin the clearance of the infection through the action of the effector cell and antibodies. Once the infection has been cleared, both inane and adaptive response ceases, antibody and residual effector cell continue to provide the protective immunity, while memory cell provide long-term immune protection from the subsequent infection. So you can see over here, the innate immunity initially kicks on. If they are not able to do, then there will be the induction of the adaptive immunity, and adaptive immunity will work, and then seize the all responses, and there will be the immunological memory when there will be the second time infection then it they will clear that infection okay so phago what are the inane and adaptive response do not act independently of one another they uh, work by positive feedback mechanism phagocytic cell recognize the pams and through different patterns and lead to phagocytosis if phagocytic cell process and present their antigen and bring to the t lymphocyte if they are not able to handle it then T lymphocyte will release the cytokines that will again activate the macrophage and enhance their activity. Also, this T lymphocyte will activate the B lymphocyte that will convert into plasma cell and then form the antibodies. That antibody will act or by the clear the infection by opsonization, complement activation, and the antibody dependent cell like cytotoxicity. Okay. So finally, come back to the our last. Uh, 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 slide our last uh, diagram. This is the simple. This is the anatomical and physical barrier. If it is bridged, then phagocytic immune response, innate immune response, the way phagocyte and granulocyte will come and play in role. They will try to kill the bacteria. If not, goes into the blood, then complement path will activate it and they all will release the cytokines. If they are not able to handle, they will reactivate the T lymphocyte. T lymphocyte will be released the cytokine, they will activate the B lymphocyte and form the antibody. This antibody will kill again the microorganism by opsonization with the help of the, this phagocyte and granulocyte. They also activate the antigen antibody complex, complement pathway, classical pathway. Again, they will kill the organism by forming this MAC complex as well as clear the infection by C3 by opsonization. So they all play a role coordinately and clear the infection. Hope you have understood. Thank you.